Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Gigger. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about helping you work from anywhere. And in this video, we're going over some strategies to make sure you're getting the most out of your Shopify store. Digital Gigger work from anywhere in the gig economy. This video is aimed at those who are just getting started with Shopify. Let's start with the bad news. Most e-commerce sites fail within the first 120 days. Now that seems bad but you have control over how your Shopify store performs. It all starts around the products or product you would like to sell through your store. This is the most crucial stage of planning a Shopify store. I suggest that you try the Sprocket platform to find products you can drop ship. You can check out the link in the description box below. Sprocket has thousands of products you can pick from. You can get started for free without a credit card. The product is how you're gonna make money from your store. You wanna ensure that you have done as much market research as possible. You want to know who you're going to target your products to and who is your competition. Once you have settled on a product you believe fits a niche, it's time to set up a store around that product. I like to create a brand around the product by getting a domain that reflects the type of product I'm selling and by getting a logo that fits the branding I'm aiming for. Once I set up my store in Shopify, I add the logo, I make changes to the presets, you can change the colors to match the logo and also match the type of product you're selling. There are different templates you can use or you can even pay a pro to customize your Shopify store. With Shopify, this next tip is very crucial. You want to make sure your store scales well to mobile since a large chunk of business is going to come from people on smartphones so you want to test that out before you go live. You also want to make sure you provide as much information about your store. You need an about page, uh, a way for people to contact you, and building trust is a crucial piece of that puzzle. So make sure people view your site as professional and trustworthy. So boom, your site is up and you have a great product, you're feeling great about it, and you're going live. Stop right there. You're not ready yet. I like to put a hold on going live for a few days. This lets me play around with the Shopify store. I also like to have someone else take a look because something is going to not work and you wanna make sure that you find these errors before you go live. So make sure you have everything working 100% before you go live. If you're going to be paying for advertising, make sure you don't lose money because something silly wasn't working. Trust me, I've been running e-commerce sites for a very, very long time and the unexpected happens. And I realized a few days after I went live and paid for advertising that something was wrong and the traffic wasn't converting and I didn't notice. Okay, so you went over the site, everything is ready, you tested, you double check it. Now it's time to drive traffic to your Shopify store. You might be advertising on Facebook and Instagram and you need to pay attention to the analytics because it's real money you're spending. You need to make sure you're targeting the right audience and that if you're not seeing the right results, you need to move fast and make changes. Pause the campaign and fine tune it. It also pays to do as much research on how to advertise on the platform you want to use. Here's where YouTube is your friend. Plenty of fine folks have shared best practices to run campaigns on Facebook or Instagram. Get that knowledge. It's free. Once you have traffic coming to your store, you need to pay attention to what keywords are working and the demographics. It's constant tweaking in the first week of launching a store. If you aren't seeing sales convert, maybe switch out the product photos or rewrite the verbiage or add copy. You might want to add a few videos of the product in action or add some customer reviews. When people get to your store, you want to give them the best impression you can. People are pretty quick to click away. You also want to make sure you have a way of capturing emails. Maybe offer a discount code if you enter an email address. Building an email list is going to help you grow your business. You can always market to those people on your list even if they didn't make a purchase the first time they visit. If you're not seeing results, reevaluate the product, maybe find another product that fits your niche. With e-commerce, it's all about testing and tweaking and being patient. It will all come together, but you need to understand all the different aspects of running an e-commerce website. Over the years, I keep testing, making changes, and fine-tuning. Sometimes it pays off and your shop starts making money. Other times, you need to move on and get a new product and start over. So hey guys, if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to hit the little notification bell, we'll let you know when we get the next video up. So I hope you enjoy this content and you'll come back to the Digital Gigger community. We're constantly putting up content and we wanna make sure that you can work from anywhere. So see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys.